Onigashimas, welcome back to the Kochiru Karate Center. Right now, you're fuzzy because I need to be wearing a pair of reading glasses. So, I'm dressed in my karate uniform because I got told, got to make a video. Then got told, surprise, surprise, you need to make sure you do a video on, I've got it the right way around, the Atomic Bear. All right, made famous by the Ultimate Self-Defense Challenge. Um, we were fortunate enough to receive a pen. Yeah, what do you get? You get it a nice little box. When you open it, you get a little sticker and you get a little note about it on the back side, lifetime warranty, and then lovely, well protected pen inside. Okay, things to look at. Beautiful, sharp, pointy bits. Um, if we put the pen out, Parker style pen inside, Parker insert, and ah, there we go. If you break off that end, I don't know if you can see it. Let me go. Oh, there we go. Oh, let's see. No, it doesn't want to focus on it. A, probably a tungsten bit to break glass. All right, so I'm going to cover that end. How would I carry it? Well, you know, since I walk around the streets in my karate uniform all the time, like everybody else, you know, the whole world just wears karate uniforms. I would probably <coughs> carry it there. So I've got the <coughs> quick and easy access. Maybe I would do it like my sensei used to put everything in the back of his belt, you know, and then stylishly I've got my pen. But that's totally unrealistic, of course. So we'll be back in a few minutes and I'll be training. Uh, changed out into some kind of regular everyday clothes. So, see you in a bit. Okay, so I am back, dressed like I inevitably do, only difference being normally I'm wearing a pair of flip-flops or Birkenstocks or whatever. And this is how I generally travel every single day. Now, for the sake of the sound, um, I'm gonna take off all the keys, but generally I walk around with a big bunch of keys you know, my entire life is where I can find it. So, got those out the way. I've got everything with me. My life is with me, basically. And I would probably carry Atomic Bear somewhere stashed inside my pouch or inside my pocket so that I can have it for that quick kind of deploy. One of the most important things with this will be um, the fact that you want to conceal it in plain sight, maybe, but have it readily available for things like pulling out your pocket rather than having to dig for something in, in your pouch. Two sides to that coin. The one might be that somebody's asking you for something from your pouch and you can quickly pull it out and you have it handy for deployment. Or while you are preoccupying the person with one hand, you could be using the other hand. And with that, enter the Keanu Reeves knockoff. Hello, Brian. Hi, Onyashimas. Obviously, things that you would probably see would be you minding your own business, somebody is grabbing onto you or doing something, and you would be wanting to go in and cover. Hand going up, crashing, or hand coming in to make sure, because he's going to bowl something. And it's going to be, as you can see in most videos, multiple strikes to the groin. All right, low, low carry point, low strike point. High carry point, high strike point. And Brian really wanted to know how bad it feels. So I'm not going to jab it into him as hard as I can, but maybe Brian, let's get your face on the camera. All right, turn that way a bit. All right, so... I'm going to be nasty and press it. <laughs> Rating, good, bad. Yeah, that's a solid eight. Eight, nasty. All right, Brian? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're not going to go there. Obviously, any kind of puncture wounds to the body, to the ribs, I'm putting my thumb there to stop me from hitting Brian hard. Um, that's going to be kind of sore. Um, but there will always be legality that comes with that. Depending on where you are in the world, if you start sticking holes in a person with a pen, um, there may be some kind of consequence because everything has to go to court at some point. Blows to the neck can be extremely dangerous. 
running just over here as the carotid artery, um, attacking into this kind of notch. Um, anywhere in here, you are effectively going into lungs. They basically sit below this. They're kind of deep. You'd have to put this in about that deep to get there. This side, um, kind of sore. Uh, a couple of my students have been jabbed already. Abs, not too bad. Groin. Okay, groin's a no-go. All right, so we're going to cut from this. Thanks, Brian, for lending us your body and giving us a rating out of eight. And we're going to go have some fun outside the dojo so I can make a mess. Uh, so it's that awkward moment where Brian precariously holds an apple and hopes my aim's good. But you can imagine aiming for something really small, it's going to be really, really difficult. Thank goodness the legs act as a funnel to blows. All right, and you would be striking into the groin. Brian, we're going to save you the discomfort of me missing. Um, and let's get that watermelon and see how deep can we bang this into something like a watermelon. Very hard exterior for a berry. All right. It's watermelon season in South Africa. Brian, you got it. All right. Hey. All right. I went in all the way up to my hand, grabbing it on the back. Um, Oh, my That's God. <laughs> oh boy. So, Put it on the bench. <laughs> I think that proves the point. It's a quick multiple strikes. It goes in kind of quick and deep and hard. Um, obviously, I didn't want to put a joint of uh, beef there, but um, and then obviously we can still push out the pen and it'll still work. Face, it doesn't look like it's damaged at all. Um, the watermelon. Just as an idea, I made a couple of holes and the inside of the watermelon just became mush. So <laughs> it's probably all the makiwara and all the goju kenteki that we practice. But I thought that would be my contribution to the atomic bear. Um, me and my running gear, the, the situation I'm going to do with Brian is one of my concerns as a woman. I often like to run alone. Because, yes, I run with our German Shepherds, but they can be so annoying to run with. And we don't live in, like, Mad Max Fury Road. It's not that bad here in Johannesburg, but obviously it's always a concern that a guy's going to grab me while I'm running. So I am going to be little cute bunny running all by myself, and Brian will come and tackle me. And I've got the bear pen in my pocket. Um, to be fair, I'd probably have my pocket zipped up because I wouldn't want the pen to fall out. And yes, ladies, I am cheating. These are men's running clothes. They're the only things with pockets that are deep enough to keep a phone, a pen, my keys. <laughs> Come on, Brian, put an effort in. Still keep stabbing Brian for his insolence. Fail. Yeah, big fail. <laughs> All big right. Big fail. So, where you keep the pen, it's going to be critical. The faster the deployment, the more effective it's How going to be. How do you run with the chair? Because I'm going to stab yeah. myself as I run. I would think if you had a running band or a, yeah. with with, a, with your phone inside or a gel packet, and it was clipped to... onto that, it might be useful. If I hadn't had the pocket sealed, I might have got it off. Okay, okay. try to put your pocket down. Try pocket down. Come down. Okay, so. <laughs> I'm putting the cover. Okay. Yeah. Well, there we go. <laughs> Straight for the groin. Boxes. You're sure? I was so scared I was going to hurt you. Because this, this thing is nasty sharp. Like inside the leg will be fine. It looks like you've got bruises <laughs> already. So feedback on typically atomic bear and... Um, it's fine if it's like typical male kind of scenario is frontal assault or even if it's partially turned if it's in your pocket if you have a pocket something like mine that you can just pull it out and it's kind of clipped into the pocket a little bit the clip is very tight so it's yeah, not maybe. just going to come out but you're going to have to grab onto it to pull it out um, I think speed of deployment is probably one of the most important things um, what we find typically is the longer it takes to deploy any kind of weapon the more likely you're going to have the weapon taken from you or um, it's going to be ineffective because most of our scenarios also end up being multiple attackers you really want something that deploys really really fast 
um, for the ladies, I tend to watch somebody called Melissa Backwards, who is a knife outdoor kind of um, contributor on YouTube, and she constantly works on how fast does a knife deploy once she draws it. And I think that's the critical piece of, of Intel that most people need to consider. If you take this and you stash it in the bottom of your handbag, the bottom of your pocket, and you now have to fidget and dig for it, um, well, you might as well not have it. You might as well react a little bit faster with something else. Um, however, it still doesn't detract from the effectiveness of it. So I think everything is based on user uh, preparedness and comfort and where do you clip it um, if you're running and you have something that will allow it to clip on to a belt buckle you may find oh. <laughs> that it you might tear that off you may find that if it's in your pocket and it gets pulled out that it comes out a little bit um, easier if you have some kind of pocket that you can hold it in and then draw it from it may be useful um, in that sense but it all depends on how well you train I think everything comes down to you can't buy it and expect it to work um, no self-defense implement whether it is a atomic bear pen whether it is a rapid deploying knife or even if it's a nine mil um, if you don't have adequate training in how to use it under stress it's not going to work uh, I think the critical part is that you do need some kind of training. You need to have some time drawing, figuring out where to hold or how to hold, what's going to work best for you, um, where would you keep it. I, I haven't even thought about sticking it onto the pocket, rather of the onto the zipper. Let's see. And it's Good. I'm so scared of breaking these things, but it does have lifetime warranty. Okay, Brian, let's try it again. Let's see third time. Okay, that's it's, outside your... That's yes. outside now. So yeah. I guess it doesn't look too conspicuous while running through the streets. Yes. Okay, so Brian comes and grabs from behind. <gasps> oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> let's try. Let's try not to go off screen. All right, there we go. <clears throat> stab, stab. There we go. Uh. Let's finish the job in the neck. <laughs> and then... Looks horrible. Does it look horrible? <laughs> <laughs> looks horrible. Uh, that's not that's supposed good. to look good, but we'll do it again. Uh, we'd have to practice it a little bit. Yeah, that's, of course it looks horrible. I've only used so this for the first it, time. Hold it, put it into a pocket that way rather, so it's more inconspicuous. Inconspicuous, okay. Running, running. Uh, from there. Stab, 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 stab. Okay, now let's try it on the right side. Put it in your right side oh, pocket because yeah, you're right-handed. Yeah, I'm right-handed. I don't know why I didn't think of that. That's why we pay you the big bucks. Okay. okay. Just to grab no lift and drag. Just no, do the lift and drag. I mean, no, the attack is not going to be... Just pick Zoe up just from there. Yeah. And just pick me up from there. I don't think that's going to do very much because Brian's just taking... How soon is it in the fast? Um, she's covering it so it's... No, I wasn't covering the, the bottom that time. Mm -hmm. But I am going very soft because I, I really... What we can do is we can unscrew the tip. Like that. Glad you got the pen inside. Yeah, yeah they're still going to damage the pen. Yeah. Oh well, you know what? It's better than not having it. A note to Atomic Bear. How about a rubberized tip that can get screwed on for training purposes? So people yeah, don't hurt each other, and then people can become more proficient. Yeah, because if you take off this tip, then you've got the really, really, really nasty... So the glass breaking tongue glass from breaking carbide really bit. Yeah. Like, well, one of the things I really liked in the self-defense challenge was the bus scenarios. Yeah. So she has a woman, you're just sitting on the bus, and a guy's being creepy, and you can just quietly get him to change his <laughs> mind. But you don't look like you've got a knife. You're just like, it? please leave me alone, sir. Yeah. Right, so something that I carry most of the time, and it's on my little pouch, um, is a carabiner. Something I've carried on either my backpack or my pouch since I was a varsity student. I do have small hands, so it's to my advantage. And it is my pseudo knuckle duster. So not a fancy knuckle duster. I know in some parts of the world they are illegal. Um, 
but it just adds a little bit more to it. So you can imagine instead of straight punches, it's more this kind of digging and hitting down kind of feeling. You can imagine that into the face, the neck, the groin, the body. So not this, but this, 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 or this. So it's typically different mechanical process rather than that typical straight punch kind of mentality. And it's just to give something extra. I used to carry my keys on them and you can imagine them being flailed across somebody's face. Um, just, just food for thought, something totally different. Um, but I really do like that atomic bear. I still can't get over how it went into the watermelon. <laughs> All right, thanks, Brian. Oh, I might as well say goodbye. Yeah. And no, no, let's say goodbye. Say goodbye. Hi. Hey. Shmas. 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 Thank you very much for joining us. Um, yeah, um, funny games with um, an atomic bear. Um, there will be a link in the description for you to go buy one of your own if you're interested. And thank you, Atomic, for sending it all the way from the States to us, all the yeah. way in South Africa. Yeah, we, 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 we do appreciate it. Um, so we will get to keep it as one of her things to carry with her. Um, I think we'll probably figure out in the next while how best to carry it yeah. and where best to have it, to use it and to deploy it fast and rapid okay. for a more effective use. Hi, thank you Hi, very much. Thank you. Sayonara. Sayonara. All right, you can pause and now you guys can film. <laughs> 90 <laughs> buck watermelon. Would have been more appropriate. No, huh? the watermelon's more fun than an avocado. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah, could you imagine if I'd missed? Isn't that? Do we know it works? <laughs> Luckily, you'll get Brian, I, I hit that thing pretty hard. Oh. I think if yeah. I had to hit you that hard and miss. Just pop your gear in the wash quickly. I've got backups. No, no, no. You can see the size of the hole it makes. No, that's it. I want to take a photo. <laughs> There's the thumbnail.